so welcome to another makeup tutorial um my name is mishi and in this video i'm going to show you guys how i do my summer makeup so i've already i've already moisturized my face and did the eyebrows and the eye look and um i'm just going to go ahead and start so before you start your your makeup for the summer i i've used this i don't know if it's uh, it's the la roche la roche pose um oil controlling gel cream this is the sunscreen that i use it is if you're oily skin this is the best uh, sunscreen for your face okay it's not okay let me not say the best because i'm really not into this skin product but i've tried it and it works very well for me i uh, was so use this after you moisturize if you have if you can get your hands on this and you have oily skin i highly recommend and then after that i'm just going to powder my face you know just so that using a, a loose powder and i'm using the black opel loose powder in the shade medium and and, and i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to first place it all over the places where i get really oily this is something that i really love doing especially in the summertime it helps my makeup stay on longer and it also um you know it's oil controlling it's gonna place it like if you're going to do this i really if you're going to do this i recommend that you use a uh, loose powder that is almost uh, your skin tone or near your skin tone just want to press everything in you see how do you see how already matte that is wonderful and i've pressed it all in so <laughs> let's begin i'm going to apply the the fenty fenty beauty pro filter uh, primer and i'm just going to first of all concentrate on my t-zone because that's where i get most oily i'm going to show you guys every step because this is what i've been doing recently doing it during the summer and it's 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 working for me so i got shared my mirror is right in front of me and that's what i'm looking at Now that we've primed our face, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with the concealer. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Mocha. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere where I would highlight. So this is what I would how I would apply it, and then I'm going to take my uh, damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend it out.
then i'm going to go in with my fenty a fenty pro filter um concealer in the shade 420 and i'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes And I'm going to use a uh, clean beauty blender to do that, to blend it out. Of course, for more coverage, you can let it. Um, uh, you can leave it on for a while so that it it dries up. I didn't wait. I just went ahead and blended, cause um, I want to. Uh, I have to rush somewhere, and I'm trying to get ready before my my boys wake up. And one thing I can share for you for sure is blending. You can never go wrong with blending. Blend, blend, blend till you can't blend no more. I love a bright under eye. So after this i'm going to go in with the let me shake it <laughs> let me shake it after this i'm going in with the ease drop blurring skin tint of course from fenty and i'm i i have mine in the shade 22 and i'm just going to i'm going to apply it in the per perimeters of my face and everywhere else where there's no concealer I put a, a little bit on my beauty blender I should be showing you this. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's start blending. So this is how I'm. Um, this is how I've been doing my makeup in the summer. Now that we're in the summer. You could see it in my pictures, bitches, nothing new. I ain't talking about my revenue. That's what every second that I get to do. Fancy what I dreamed of when I In the review that I did for the Fenty Beauty Is Drop, I'm going to attach it here. I think I used my hand to apply it, but at the moment I am really loving applying it with the beauty blender. So you want to really uh, make sure that um, you've buffed, uh, you know, you've applied everything before you come to the middle of the face or where you have the, the highlighter because it kind of tones it down a little bit. And we want everything to blend in nicely. You see the difference? Take one more drop and go down my neck. Guys, I'm going live after this. There's a festival in our town, and after I, 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 I've given the boys the dinner. I'm going to go to the city. Hopefully, there's still going to be daylight because I don't have a light, and I really want to go live so that I can share with you guys what's happening in my town today i won't be there for long just for a couple of hours but i still wanted to share so there we have it now now before we do the contouring i'm going to set my under eye to avoid creasing and to do that i'm i'm going to be using this brush this is a, a BH Cosmetic brush number three 
and of course i'm going to go in with uh, with my loose powder my one and only black copel in the shade medium i really should give the the other powders a chance i keep i just i'm so used to this powder that i just grab i always gravitate towards it top of the excess and You want to set everywhere where you applied um, uh, concealer. now that everything is set i'm going to go ahead and contour and to contour i'm going in with the fenty beauty uh matchstick in the shade ebony excuse me and um i'm going to go in with the bh cosmetic brush number one and i'm just going to go in with the brush to avoid harshness and um Going to use i'm using like i'm dragging it on at, at the beginning and then later on I'm, I'm blending it out in circular motions and i always do this just to make sure that i'm not going too much on the inside that i end where right here is where i end Set my 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 highlighted area before I applied um, liquid blush, but I'm still gonna apply it on top of it. Cause you always want to apply all the liquid products before you set with powder. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Add a little bit of dimension back into our face because you know it was looking a little bit flat flat if you want you can also go you know make that chisel and define it a little bit more if you want it's not a must Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. So, let's not forget the nose. A little goes a long way. Now I'm going to you go to bronze. I'm going to go in with the Fenty, Be Ooh, Fenty Beauty uh, Mocha Mami bronzer.
to go in with mokamami on my nose because i don't like going in with a very dark shade on my nose and to contour as usual we are going to go in with the revolution uh, mega bronzer in the shade deep and i'm just going to go on to where i contoured we're going to blend guys i forgot about the liquid but we still put it over the powder What I like about this technique that I am using to apply product on, uh, to apply makeup during the summer, it's like at the end of it all, I don't have a lot of makeup on. I still contoured, I still highlighted, uh, I still contoured, I still highlighted, I still apply uh, bronzer and all that stuff, like a full beat, but with a little, with uh, less product. I'm going to go in with the liquid blush and I'm using the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Bombshell. Oh, bombshell. Oh, bombshell. And you see exactly where uh, the. Let me show you guys. This is kind of a mauve, mauve uh, shade. You see? kind of a mauve shade um, i really love the applicator so i always i always do this my finger so that i can know exactly where i could like the product like and i'm gonna use this damp blend beauty blender and blend My neighbors are watching me. Excuse me. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Because I really like the, the way it looks. And I I think this is our all year all year um blush shade not only like for summer i'm just using circular motions with the beauty blender and smiling See? Let's add a little bit more on both sides and then blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend till we cannot blend anymore. Because I've come to realize like the makeup looks where I really blend, like really take my time and blend everything out, just looks perfect. And of course, we're going to set it with a, with a powder. Am I not going in a little bit too far, guys? I gotta try. So we have two options to set the blush. I, I, either I go with burnt paper. That's burnt paper. I really don't. I'm not. Burnt paper is really not so mauve enough. 
so i'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie i'm going to go in with fever 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 used to be my my go-to winter blush now i guess i'm gonna use it for the summer i'm just going to apply fever everywhere where i applied the liquid uh blush okay i did get carried away a little bit especially on this side <gasps> look quite oh my god i got carried away guys i got carried away i'm sorry we're gonna we're gonna turn it down with the um, with the setting powder and the beauty blender wait it's gonna look good i'm going to go in with the mac cosmetics finishing powder um using a powder brush i'm just going to set everything all over my face so using a fluffy brush so first of all i'm just setting everywhere before i go in and start um removing the excess powder underneath my my underneath my my eye my eye yes i just want everything set this also tones down like the the blush okay. now we go underneath the eye and we just want to like brush off the excess you can also do this step using a loose powder if you don't have this uh, finishing powder i watched a video and there's a finishing powder from sephora i'd really like to get my hands on it and try it then we're gonna set our face using fix it stay over from mac of course if we had that fun that every influencer has we would have used it but we don't have it so we're just gonna blow with our hands until everything dries down a little bit then i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna tap everything in. So I'm using sometimes sometimes you you notice that I'm using the the viewfinder as my mirror because my mirror is kind of here and I keep doing this and then it, it's just easier when I do that when I look at myself here. So here we have it now so for the lip I'm going in with Mac chestnut and OG and then I'm going to go in with the Superstay Maybelline Matte Ink in the shade chai genius why not
so here we have the complete look i'm very sorry when i was applying the eyeliner and the highlighter i couldn't really speak because i wanted my matte lipstick to kind of dry down otherwise it's you, it, it, it gets it gets patchy if you if you use the super stay if you use the super stay matte ink you know very well if you let don't let it dry down before you start like moving your lips it gets patchy so that's the reason that's why otherwise this is the complete look so this is like my typically go-to summer makeup this is what i have this is what i this is how i apply my makeup it feels very light and of course i didn't use a foundation i used the skin tint and um i uh, i just highlighted just like i would normally and um yeah i like this i really like this i'm not feeling i'm not feeling heavy and when i'm out and about in the sun it's it's not heavy it's it's it, it, my skin can breathe and um uh, i've also used a mixture of um like the, the is this is this matte okay okay obviously we know skin tint is uh, uh, can be buildable and i used matte uh, um a soft matte a soft matte uh, uh primer plus uh oil controlling uh sunscreen so this kind of helps by uh, and and also using the setting powder it helps to to kind of just reduce the oils and i love that i just love i love that so if you're anywhere hot and um you want to try out this uh th this technique please feel free and feel free to give me feedback because i think it's it's just phenomenal it works it just works that's what i can say it works for me and maybe it will also work for you so give it a try and or if you're already using if you're already using this technique or if you're already using this method then just feel free to comment down below all right so i will catch you guys uh, wait a minute wait a minute so if this video is helpful if this video is helpful um uh, give it a thumbs up if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and even and if you if you've just stumbled upon this channel and you you kind of like this content then um yeah subscribe for more content like this otherwise i will catch you in the next video bye ignore the background i'm still working on the background i'm supposed to get some this is my visitor's room and uh i still haven't prepared it maybe i'll get more motivated when i get visitors but i, ch I ch currently changed everything around so this is where the visitor's bed is i'm supposed to get some uh, new beddings i just got the mattress a few weeks ago and um now i'm um i have to look for some decoration stuff and you know you will see the changes every when when they occur but for now this is going to be our background for now okay